You are now listening to Oversaturated, the podcast hosted by Johnny and Ralph. Now let's get it. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Oversaturated, the podcast where we discuss music, movies, pop culture, and everything in between. I'm Johnny. And I'm Ralph. Welcome to episode number 235. 235, man. I'm Ralph, a.k.a. Frank Castle this week. Frank Castle. The Punisher? Hey, Blah! Hey, fuck you talking about? Hey, Blah! Go. Fuck you mean? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> hey, new listeners, please follow us on all social media. Facebook just search oversaturated the podcast. Twitter is oversat podcast. Instagram is oversat the podcast. And our email is oversat podcast at gmail.com. <clears throat> and please be sure to check out our website, oversat the pie.com. Any, anything you need to know about OS is there. Yes, sir. If you want to follow us individually, I am the mind of Raph across your social media platforms. For sure. On uh, Twitter, <clears throat> I'm J-O-N, two underscores, the letter B. On Instagram, I'm J-B-S underscore E-S-L underscore A-A-M-U. Also, special shout out to WDJYFM 99.1 in Atlanta. ATL. Shout out to OS Gang down there in Georgia, man. Hey, man. Ra- round of applause. We here. We here, baby. We here. Just for the hell of it. We here, baby. Yeah, all that. <clears throat> My guy, how you feeling, man? What's up? <laughs> Oh man, I'm feeling great, man. A weekend of nothingness hey. uh, for me. Uh, it feels great. Like I know it's summertime. You want to pop out and show the niggas, you know, how it's going. But you know, I appreciate these these slow days, man. I, you know, bro. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. The highlight of my weekend is watching House of Dragon when we get done with this. That Let's that go. is the highlight. Let's go. I love but, it. But I that's it, it, bro. That's what, hey man, look, well, complete opposite for me. I, uh, <laughs> listen, I'm literally fresh off the, fresh off the plane. Like fresh I still off. got this, the, yeah, the airplane, uh, <laughs> yeah, all that is on me. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah, it's, yeah. All, it's all on me right now. So, yeah. um, just got back from Orlando, but I was, you know, down there for business, but yes, sir. it was cool. It was a good weekend. The weather was nice. Um, That's good. got a That's chance good. to network with a lot of people. Was at the USTA national campus. So Talk to you, bro. it was great. It was great, man. It was great. Um, I'm I'm ready though. I'm ready to pop, baby. <laughs> oh man, you've been out the loop. So I just been, hey, I've been having a great time this week, man. Just catching yeah. up on on my content and everything. For you know sure, what I'm saying? Sure. Like, I really hope people that watch this, I mean, that listen to OS watch House of Dragon and share my excitement because it's up. It's hey, up, baby. I, like I, I watch, I watch episode one, baby. We here. We here, baby. Maybe we don't have enough time for that today, because <laughs> you know today, it's a, not, today. not today. But we'll we'll discuss because I I have to get into this with you, my brother. Since we break down TV shows, we gotta talk about it at some point. At least okay. you know make that part of our content. Will you know okay? What I'm let's bet. Let's do it. Let's do All it. Right. Let's do it. But, hey man, what we doing off the dome? Off the dome. I got one for you, bro. Right. Let's tap into let's tap into that nostalgia, man. You know how it is when you know you was a young child watching all these shows and you were invested heavily into oh, the storylines yeah. and plots. It was two that kind of stuck out to me mm-hmm. that just kind of made you feel like, hey, man, I'm kind of stressed watching this. Are the people going to survive? Or <laughs> Are the heroes going to make it? Yeah. I got two storylines. I want to see which one stressed you more out as a child. Okay. The, the Green Ranger saga or, or, or the Dark Phoenix saga. Mm. Which, one, which one stressed you out more? Oh, Okay. I think off top, I'm going to Green Ranger Saga. And I'm, gonna you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you why. Right. Because it was first of all, honestly, because it wasn't animated. I felt like I could really like, I felt like I was really one of the Power Rangers, bro. Like, mm-hmm. like Tommy Oliver was wreaking havoc. I'm talking about as as a human, as a Power Ranger, as everything. He was wreaking havoc no matter what. He ain't have he didn't even have to have his costume on. He was in the in the ninja dojo talking crazy to them, talking crazy. <laughs> he beat their the ass in the megazord. He beat their ass in the command center. <laughs> he, beat he, beat them, he beat them on land, in the air, in mid-flight. 
got there. Like <laughs> he beat their ass so much. They put they put him on the team. <laughs> and then and then change his color. And then change his color. Like, he gonna keep you around, brother. <laughs> we need you, know, you, brother. You too cold not to have as an asset. Like, <laughs> like that's made him the leader. I like that a bitch. <laughs> not only do you get to join the team, <laughs> you're the leader too. You're the, you are the leader. Man, what? Oh, no, nah, nah. no. Okay. Tommy Oliver was a, was a menace. He was a menace. Oh uh, yeah, a, for the a, a for sure menace. For a menace, all right. Well, for the yeah. sake of for the sake of the conversation, I'll go the other way and say the dark phoenix had me stressed because no matter how like dark the X Men you know uh, animated series was, mm-hmm. we ain't never seen no shit like that. Never. Like oh oh, this was some psych. She was it was like, and I think I had seen Carrie a little bit around that time, like that mm-hmm. movie Carrie. The, the so it's kind of like oh crazy white woman. That's how I fit. I, I was like oh, and she, she can't be beat. <laughs> it's like so just watching that and I guess in real time and it was like a when is it a two or a three parter? Um the dark, true, I think two. the dark finger saga. It might, been, Sonics. it might it might have been four five parts. I'm honestly hey man. That, that's, that was, that's, that, how, that's how serious that was, it was. It was riveting TV. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we already loved how you know how big the X-Men animated series was and the writing and all that. Yeah. So when they wrote the Dark Phoenix saga, ran it source material from the comics, but the way they wrote it. Yeah, in the animated series, man. <laughs> she was great. It was great. Yeah, it was, it was great. great. <laughs> hey, not that you mean it. I might, I might, I might have to run that back, especially after X Men '97, because yeah, man, nah, yeah. good times, good times. All right. <clears throat> so for my off the dome, <clears throat> I just want to have a little fun, right? Yeah. What's something that you hated as a kid but you love as an adult? <clears throat> now, if you need time to think about it, let me know. I can, you know, I can give my my answer. Bingo. Okay, so my my thing that I hated as a kid but love as an adult, canceling mm-hmm. plans. <laughs> canceling plans, let me tell you. Like as a as a kid, you get it, you get so excited. You your mom, your parent, or whoever say you about to go to a birthday party, you about to go to what Discovery Zone, Chuck E. Cheese, all of that stuff. You about to go mm-hmm. go get McDonald's as a kid, and mm-hmm. you so excited and giddy, like, oh my god, you know, this is the best thing ever. And then for whatever reason. Now you can't go no more. It's like you, your soul is crushed as a child. Crushed, mm. right? As an adult, though, as a as a working adult with with bills, mm-hmm. um, you know, you we make we make plans with friends all the time. You know, mm. you may schedule to go see like your mom. You know, you may go schedule to see somebody, your loved one, but sometimes you just don't feel like it. The day of comes and it's like, you know, you had a bad day, like your, your pants pocket get caught on the doorknob and you, it's, just, it's the last straw, right? It's the last straw. So yes. now it's like, you know what? I don't even feel like it. I'm canceling. I'm cool. I, I literally don't want to do anything. Yes. And that's that's been the theme of my weekend. I ain't did shit. <laughs> I haven't done anything. And it's glorious, right? And glorious. Yes. Yes. And one thing that I would say that is kind of like I would say, not as a child, but like kind of in that young adult space, like, and maybe you know you still kind of have like a teenage way of thinking. Mm-hmm. I hated going to the store, like buying things, like you know for myself. Right now, you can't keep me out of Sam's. Like I go to <laughs> Sam's faithfully. I got rewards cash, my boy. I can yeah. probably, I can probably charge a a, a cart worth of shit. And don't even like you know what I'm saying. Like I can probably get like seventy dollars knocked off because I got that much in cash. Like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> With the stove, That's but I'm, I love you. I'm, and listen, bro. Like I love going to make sure I got water and paper towels and toilet paper and wipes and paper plates and cups and what else? Sam said, "What they laundry detergent, dishwasher?" Oh, like, listen, man, bro. Listen, listen bro. The, 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 the dishwashing pods, like, poop, like you know, the cascade <laughs> joints. What you mean? Like, I, yeah, I use a dishwasher. Faithfully, yeah, too. Fuck yeah, you mean? Yeah. I ain't standing up watching dishes no more. That shit out. I'm from the hood, baby. I ain't never had no dishwasher before. I ain't know how to use the shit. <laughs> no, I know you. I went down a whole rabbit hole. Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Listen, I, 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 I keep, I keep it gangsta. I still, I still hand wash my dishes. I do, I do. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie about it. But see, they, they gave me a new dishwasher in my joint, so I was like, Oh no, yeah, you good? Then. Oh no, it, uh, man, what? Yeah, <laughs> you got, you got the, the the fresh, the fresh uh water sprinkler in the bottom. Like, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna hit all, it's gonna hit all. It's, the it's all that. Like, I could, I could never get the corner of that pirate spot like that. <laughs> I ain't whipping up that. We we cook food in my house, not dope. <laughs> but I was just saying, man, that is a very watched answer of me. But hey, that that shows how my thought process and things have just changed, man. I'm just sure. different, man. For sure, I love but, it. Though. 
that was off the dome, people. What stressed you out more if you were a fan of these series, the Green Ranger uh saga or the uh Dark Phoenix saga? Yeah, know. man. <clears throat> and what's something that you hated as a kid but love as an adult? Let us know. Let us know. <sighs> OS gang, family, and kid folk. What's happening? We got a few topics here on this OS News Docket this week. But first things first. First and foremost. Sometimes you just got to pop out and show niggas, Johnny. Mm. Uh, mm. Kendrick, mm. Kendrick Lamar Duckworth popped out <laughs> <laughs> and gave us a fabulous uh, Juneteenth concert, if I can just prelude it by saying that. Yeah. But, uh, Johnny, were you able to watch uh, this <clears throat> concert? All four hours. I was glued to the TV from, from the beginning Mm -hmm. To the end, to to the to the last five songs, I was there. I was there. Listen, I like, man. I like what you did there. Yeah, man. Look, I, how do I even begin to talk about this? Um, first of all, shout out Kendrick let's, Lamar. Let's let's start start there, but let's start snowball. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, <clears throat> it's first. Okay, first of all, let me say this. Mm -hmm. My percep my perception of time be so off, bro. Like I mm -hmm. always get West Coast time mixed up. Like mm -hmm. it said it was gonna be 4 p.m. Pacific time, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. In my brain all day in the day before, I'm like, okay, this thing gonna start at two o'clock central. I'm like, I'm on the grill. Like I, I made sure I got everything done. I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm refreshing Amazon Prime. I'm like, I'm ready. My my goofy self finally realized <laughs> 4 p.m. Pacific is 6 p.m. Central time. It's, it's two hours here. Though. And I said, yeah. I said, bro, you, I, I said, you know what? That's fine. It gave me time to get in the shower. I didn't grill all day. I've been outside frying fish. Like it's great. Like my mom, mom's was at the crib. It was a real Juneteenth celebration in my house. Like it yes, was, sir. yeah, yes, real, sir. real activity, right? Mm -hmm. So it gave me more time to prepare myself because, yeah. oh, I mean, I was, I was expecting a good show, mm -hmm. but it turned out to be way better than I like what I ever could have imagined. Honestly, yeah. <clears throat> Just feeling the energy through the TV was was amazing. So I could only imagine what it was like being there. But yeah, like, yeah. like, like what what did you like? How did you prepare? What did you think about it? Uh, honestly, I forgot what was going on. Like <laughs> I was listen. It was a day off from work for me. Like I and what's so crazy is we sit here and talk about content and what's going on during the week weekend and week out on this podcast. But some days you just tap out oh, of sure. whatever's going on, and for I sure. totally knew it was a holiday. And I know we talked about it and, you know, even in our group chat, even just, you know, on the platform. And then I just forgot the only reason I know about this because my wife was like, hey, don't you want to watch uh, the June, you know, the pop out? <laughs> sure. Like, I I was not I was not aware. <laughs> Wednesday was a day for me. So it's just like I, I didn't think about it. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. I just wanted to tap out from everything. But. Getting to what the concert was just as an overall experience, man, from what I saw, at least in real time. I can only, you know, I went back and seen the, the other stuff. Mm -hmm. But in real time, I think I watched from Mustard Set, like the end of DJ Headset, which okay. might have, which may have had like a big, like somebody big, like, you know, kind of like a bigger artist mm -hmm. compared to who started out and then went into Mustard Set and then got, into, you know, Kendrick at the end. But the surprises were great. I love that he. It was a, a West Coast affair. It was very regional, strictly uh, West Coast. strictly yeah, West Coast, and when it wasn't none of that. And I can appreciate that. You know, being in the heart of L.A. and just making it, you know, a big celebration of sorts. Um, yeah, Kendrick. Kendrick is phenomenal, man. I think we talked about how good of a performer he was. I mean, how a, a performer he is. Mm -hmm. I've only seen him one time live, but. When you're able to captivate through screen, you can feel the energy yeah. through the screen. And this ain't the first time I've been wowed by Kendrick's performance. Like, you know, mm -hmm. think about all those Grammy and uh, BET performances he done did. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, he, for he's sure. always been a powerful performer with the imagery and, like, the lights and the camera work. Like, it's, it's, it's next level with him. So that's why you can always appreciate that. So what, what was, like, one of the biggest surprises for you just watching it? You know what I'm saying? Like you were just like surprised that oh, honestly, the sheer mm. amount of artists, like mm -hmm. the sheer amount of artists that came out, like coming all, so starting with <clears throat> West Coast artists that maybe only the West Coast really know about, you know, at this point in time, like mm -hmm. being able to start with those types of artists to give them the global platform like that was amazing, and it seems like 
every artist that came out sequentially was like bigger than the last artist, right? Yeah. And I'm yeah. talking about starting from DJ Headset all the way up to Kendrick. Like mm -hmm. every artist just came out and was doing a thing, better performances, better everything. Like it's mm -hmm. that that was amazing. Like I didn't I really mm -hmm. didn't know what to expect from this show, but the layout of it, the lineup of it was 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 freaking amazing, man. The energy. Amazing. And I like what Kendrick did where he covered all bases. Because yeah. because you didn't think at maybe in this function where it started out heavy, heavy street, mm -hmm. you still found time for Steve Lacey. You still found time for Tyler, the creator yeah. and Tyler, the creators, you know, like, you know, performance is always great, but yeah. the amount of love yeah. in that, in that arena for him, it was beautiful to see. It, it, was, it was almost beautiful. like it was his show too. You Man. know what I'm saying? So I, I enjoyed that part. Like the crowd went crazy for him. He, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, it, it was like a few people that kind of got that, but Tyler was like clearly the second one, and then we get to Kendrick and what he did. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think even like a YG, like they went crazy in there for YG. Oh, but yeah. you would think you would think it's more skewed to YG, his type of crowd. You you would think, right? You would, <laughs> you think, would think, but mm -hmm. but that but that goes to show the level and the type of artist that Kendrick is, right? He was mm -hmm. able to bring out so many different yeah fan bases you know for one mm -hmm. for one event and like mm -hmm. every everybody was vibing i mm -hmm. heard it wasn't no issues in the venue like it mm -hmm. was like man it was it was beautiful yeah. to see beautiful now to see. now we gotta get we have to get to the guest list too before yeah. we you know we get to kendrick and his performance right mm -hmm. lebron james demar derozan <laughs> russell Westbrook, Westbrook yeah. james harden uh rick ross the weekend uh scissor uh scissor, scissor in disguise actually yeah 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 uh did i say the weekend yeah the weekend was there <laughs> yep uh i think i may be missing somebody else i mean if you want to throw in uh whitney and the kids you know say so we can throw that I in there too like you know what i'm saying the, the guest list pop, popped out too yeah yeah now i said lebron but we can't forget the beautiful savannah james okay. and then oh northwest <laughs> <laughs> hey chloe Bailey was there hey popped out it, it was an event it was it was Every, they was in there they was in there man it was in there. <laughs> so great, bro. It was, it, it, it was a beautiful thing, man. I think, and I hope that this is just, I, I don't, you kind of live in a space where you just want this to be a one-off thing. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's just one thing that happened. We had a good time, and we ain't got to force it. You know what I'm saying? Let's not turn this into anything. Yeah. It don't have to be Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar Fest. Like, you know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be that. Right. Because Kendrick has to consistently want to be involved in it, you know what I'm saying? And we're, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not asking him to do this in 2025 as a right. fan. You know what right. I'm saying? I'm not. Was there was there any artists that came out that you like were truly shocked to see or like brought up old nostalgic memories? Mm, not really. Like anybody that I saw that I kind of was already familiar with, I was, mm -hmm. I, mean, I was happy to see him. Like I was happy to see a blast, a Ty Dolla Sign, a you know YG, uh, who who else liked the you West? know who it was I'll, who Dom Kennedy. Okay, Dom, listen. Okay, I I love Dom Kennedy as an artist, right? Mm -hmm. And I like I haven't really had him in rotation that much recently. Mm -hmm. So when he came out, it was like, oh, sh I forgot all about my man Dom. Like Dom, Dom, and. And it's like Dom and Nip. They were yeah. kind of like in that same space when they were coming up. And Dom had it a little bit first where Nip was still trying to figure out his, uh, his footing and mm -hmm. everything. And then, you know, Nip actually went a little bit more commercial, the more commercial route where Dom was just putting out work. Like, for like 2010 to like 13, like, <laughs> that might have been one of the, hey, listen, that was, I, <laughs> my nostalgia, my old niggas jumping out. But that was like clearly one of the best times that blog every time was one of the Ab best times absolutely bro. absolutely one of the best times absolutely man <laughs> but yeah man i like the nipsey also tribute too i know uh i know must have kept it real you know uh concise with his set he only did two sets i mean two songs per person yeah it seemed like so which was good you know for the time's sake too because you know who we all here to see of course but, <sighs> after the dj must have said kendrick lamar hit said stage man um, like I said, one of the one of the the better performers in hip hop, and he proved it again. Literally, from 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 the first song to literally the last song. Like, mm -hmm. first of all, to start the set with Euphoria itself is insane, right? Euphoria mm. is a six seven minute song. Diabolical. He didn't do just one verse or a few lines. He did the entire song. 
to mm -hmm. start the set with that seven minute song mm -hmm. was diabolical, was insane, a tremendous like it was amazing, you, bro. You know, one thing when I watched it, when I watched it in real time, I was like, did this nigga not drink any water? I was I was concerned. Like I, I was like, hey, listen, I watch battle rap a lot. They they do four or five bars. They give me some water. Give me some water. Give me some water. This man performed six minutes of a song with no chorus. Straight. Like, I don't care if he stumbled over the words. I know some people say, oh, he stumbled over some words. I know he inserted some new lyrics. But that was the first time he performed it, too. Now, I was just about to say that. Just about to say that. It might be the only time, for real. I don't think we ever going to get that again. It was so, it was I, so it, amazing it, to, yeah. to witness. Breath control, crowd control, no water. No, 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 uh, vocals in the back. It's just straight instrumental. And the other thing that I noticed that was very impressive. <laughs> very. This is the, this is the most air quotes normal that I've seen him dress in a very long time. The man just had on some jeans and a hoodie and some chains. I haven't seen him dress like that in hellas. And you know what's so crazy? I liked it. I, I know, was it, like, was it was fire. I was like, Kendrick, don't wear jewelry, but clearly he got it. Like <laughs> the gotta, jewelry. They gotta pop out and show him, bro. Bro, them chains was nasty, bro. In the, the most respectful way. Those <laughs> things were those things was beautiful. Like, I, I'm not even a jewelry guy. Yeah, but though, like, I kind of feel like maybe me and Kendrick are on the same wave. If I can compare myself to this rap great, I was like, if I would want to change, maybe I would look like that for the one time I get it. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was crazy. As much as he was moving around, I don't even think cha the chains moved. Like that's how heavy they were, bro. Like, listen, bro. That's it was great. Listen, was great. and it was so funny because I was like, you know, we can get to, you know, the definitely the meat and potatoes of this whole conversation. Mm -hmm. But somebody was like, hey, bro, you can't you can't talk to me like that when you got your readers on. Because <laughs> I was so like, he, he ain't got no context. He, he just got the readers on going to work. <laughs> because you got to pop out and show him. I don't need nothing obstructing my view. I know these glasses going to stay on my face. I don't want no sweat getting in my contact. <laughs> This is what I need. Yeah. Yeah. But the, the the recap of it all, man, just before we get to that, like, I like the TDE reunion. I love that. The oh, Black Hippie. Black I Hippie love, reunion. I, I, love, I love when Schoolboy came out. You can tell, even though they may not be in the same space or on the same label anymore, they genuinely fuck with each other. Yes, and sir. that's all that one can ask for. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, him and, him and Kendrick are still, like, Schoolboy, they like. You can tell J Rock came out. He showed up. They did Money Trees, one of you know one of our favorite songs from both of them. Um, you know he was able to get win off. You know we bring out uh Abso, yes. Abso. I think he does. He have something wrong with him? You know, or I'm uh, not sure. Well, Abso is legally blind, like clinically okay. blind. Okay. Um. So you know there there there's that. that. But then mm. also what what I what I've come to find out find find out since the concert is he's been going through a lot of like i guess family issues like mm. i think his his parents passed away recently mm. um ones, yeah. he 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 was he was suicidal at one point not too not too long ago now okay. he has uh he has twin uh children mm. so it's okay. um abso has been through a lot personally yeah. so for him to even be able to be out on stage you know mm -hmm. be up there for the black keeper reunion and for kendrick was was amazing and i think that was like such a such a pivotal moment when when Kendrick was rapping uh, six sixteen in L A. and was just right there with a uh, with Ab. So just you yeah. know that was such a a powerful moment. And I didn't yeah. I didn't realize you know what he had gone through at the moment, but like just seeing that was like wow this is this is phenomenal this is phenomenal. Yeah. So it really is. Yeah, man. Shout out to Ab Soul too. No, man. shout out to Ab Soul, and then you know Schoolboy came through, and it, it was just love from all four of those guys on stage at the same time. It was amazing, great was, to see. Um, and then you know we moved further and said Kendrick gets into a little bit more of his his, his solo discography that his mm -hmm. that people say he don't have. Um, you know, I mean, he did. You know, he did swimming pools. He did DNA. He did uh, did legacy. I mean, is it legacy? Um, uh, no loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. loyalty, loyalty. So loyalty. I actually I have the whole set list here. Okay. So we start with Euphoria, mm -hmm. DNA, Element, mm -hmm. all right, Swimming Pools, mm -hmm. Money Trees, mm -hmm. Win, King's mm -hmm. Dead, mm -hmm. 616 in LA, mm -hmm. Collard Greens, 
that part, which I completely forgot about. King Kunta. Mm. Mm. Forgot about King Kunta too. That's that song went hard in the stadium. Uh mm -hmm. Mad City, Humble, mm -hmm. like that, Steel mm -hmm. Dre, California mm -hmm. Love. Ugh, seeing that shit live was amazing. Mm -hmm. Then we get we get not like us, five mm -hmm. of them things, five times. Yeah. I was hoping that uh future was present for like that. Like I was no. hoping. I was so, hoping. West Coast only, baby. We don't know that. No, no, we didn't know. Rick Ross was out in the crowd. Look, this could have been in the back. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> yeah, just say something from the crowd. Just yeah, say something man, from the crowd. Listen, I, I just wanted, I just wanted the energy to just like future come out there. All right, now get off set. All right, get, you can go. get this man a mic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, pretty much. Someone get this man a shield. Like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's. But now you're right with the West Coast. But I was just like, hey man, <laughs> it'll be because I don't think we'll ever get this. Like I, I know Kendrick ain't never gonna be in the space to perform with with future. That's that's why. I'm like, can we? That might have been that might have been a prime opportunity, but uh, I, it was it was <laughs> it was shit. And then you know, I mean, and then I mean, Drake coming out is the biggest flex. I don't care what nobody says. Oh, for sure, for sure. That that is a huge flex. It's 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 interesting because like so through the set, right? So he starts with Euphoria, mm -hmm. and he you know does some of his solo hits, mm -hmm. but like it seemed like every few songs he reminds you what we really there for. This Drake hate. So yeah, it's like the story yeah. for it. He do some songs, six 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 sixteen in LA. <laughs> we do some it. songs like that. Then we do some songs, bring Dre out and have Dre introduce not like us. Come. Dot man. Damn it. Diabolical. Drake, Diabolical. Drake, Drake never wants that Dr. Dre beat now. Like he never like he never he doesn't even want it. He doesn't even want the feature now. Right. Damn. <laughs> but just the way he brought out, you know, Dre, and then Dre to introduce. Not like he was like, Dre, you gonna leave? Don't you got one more thing you want to say? I think he's about to say Tupac back. I was thinking, wait, no Tupac come out. I was like, shit. Either Tupac or Snoop or something. First out of jail. I was like, oh! <laughs> he was like, I was like, if this is the if Tupac, if this is the moment, this is the moment. <laughs> this is the moment. Nah, for real. <laughs> but, hey, the arena... Like the energy, you could feel, feel the, the the, you could feel it through the screen. The first time he performed this monstrous hit, you know what I'm saying? This monstrous diss track, man. It so <laughs> okay. The so he did he did the first verse, mm -hmm. not like us. Mm -hmm. And he had he had the crowd hold a minor. I was like, mm -hmm. I bet you he do it again. I bet uh -huh. you do it again. So ran it back, stopped it again at a minor. <sighs> then this man ran it back three times. <laughs> The third time I was like, I, right. you know, third times a true type shit. Like this yeah. is like this is fire. Like this is fire. Did mm. did the whole song crowd still singing word for word, word for word. Song ends. He starts bringing people out on stage. No, mu no muster nah. comes out on stage. Muster comes out on stage first. Yeah, those two. Yeah, those two girls that went viral come out and dance too. I just want to yeah. highlight that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tap in? Can yeah, you tap that, in? <laughs> right. No, man, what? For sure. So that, that, for, that fourth time is Muster came out and then the two young ladies came out and mm -hmm. did, did they thing. They, <laughs> and then he was and then Kendrick just like this freaking ass thing. I was like, yeah. <laughs> he was shuffling. The way he was shuffling, bro. I was like, I was tickled, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Because you gotta <laughs> pop out in school. Even 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 the first time he did, he was like, "What? Wow. Oh wait, time out." I know, I know. Shout out to the camera people for Amazon Prime. Everybody was on cue. Everybody was in unison. Like they planned that and they executed that shit amazingly. What 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 that what? Uh, shit was amazing, amazing, amazing. So he do it. He do it for the fourth time. Now he start calling people on. He calling everybody that performed out on stage. I'm thinking, they, you know, it's about to be a photo op. He just want to thank everybody. But he bringing people on stage. like, it, And it takes a while, right? So he's like, no, nah, you, come on, everybody, come on, come on. And, he, you know, he give his little speech. All of a sudden, the beat dropped for a fifth time. A fifth time. Five times. Five. Die line, die line, die line, die line, die line. Five. Five. One, two, three, four. Fifth. Fifth. Fifth time and the, and the fifth. First of all, every time for the entire set, the entire set, he ain't miss a breath. He ain't miss a beat. He didn't miss nothing. Like you said, didn't take didn't take no sip of water, no water. 
I'm sweat, sweat dripping. <laughs> yeah, look, sweat dripping. And by the fifth time, now he now he's still rapping the song the same way he did the first time, and he's dapping up people. Dapping up. It's, yeah. it's amazing, man. It, it, it's amazing. It, it looks so crazy because you got NBA MVPs up there doing the crypt the crypt walk. <laughs> Like he like Russell Westbrook could hold himself. He could he couldn't contain himself. He don't get to dance like that at the at the, at the games. Like you know what I'm saying? He can't. You know he got he was about to throw his hood up. But he remember I'm worth a lot of money. I can't I can't my my fingers can't twitch. I can I can move my feet, but I can't move my hands. Yeah. So because so, you know Russell be trying to contain himself. He he have a video that go viral every week of him dancing on the on the sideline somewhere. It's true. <laughs> so he went crazy. I mean just. It was a bad look, like for the opposition, you know what I'm saying? But it was a great look for, I mean, just the West Coast in general. Uh, you can throw, I mean, you can say it was a great look for Kendrick because it was his show. A great look for the culture in in general. Like, Absolutely. forget what, forget the beef. It was just a great look because this is something that we'll be talking about for a while. Oh, man, what? Absolutely. For a while. This. I think this is easily a top, uh, easily a top ten moment in hip hop history, like hip hop history. Like this is this is a, a top a top ten moment, and it seems like we've gotten, like this is. Would you say this is bigger than the um, the lots dipset versus? Because that 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 was also a moment. Jadakiss was a moment, you know, during that time. It pretty much boils down to. The New York, New York moment where he said, "I'm outside." Yeah, yeah. and the wop, 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 because it's all about the camera work. You know what I'm saying? Man, what? It's all about the camera work, and both of those, and both of those camera works deserve like Emmys. Like they deserve it. it Deserves a a high tier, top tier award for that that camera work. I don't. I mean, it's up there. I just can't say it's better. Like it's it's up there. Like you know, prison. I don't want to be prisoner of the moment. You know, recency bias. Yeah. Because you gotta let some time pass. Like, trust me. I don't watch. I don't ran back at least the Kendrick part a few times just to see it, and then social media will remind you. Like, oh, oh, we gotta we gotta talk about this as a family. Yeah. So, um, it's definitely up there, and it's up there as you know maybe a top ten. I I you know recency bias top Mm -hmm. fifteen. Like just a great moment in hip hop. Not the bullshit moments, but the great, the great, yeah. the, the the good moments, the good stuff. Um, just because of what it means, right? And it's just a new moment in this in this era where we don't get a lot of good moments anymore. For sure, you know, we're not in a golden age per se anymore. You know, what I'm saying a lot of the things that are kind of marred by hip hop right now aren't the best things that we want to, you know, use as a time capsule to move yeah. forward. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. but but this year. Uh, June, tw- uh, June, June 24th, June, t- June 10th, 2024, <laughs> mm-hmm. definitely goes down in, in, in hip hop music history because of Kendrick Lamar and the pop out show. So, I, w- I just want to, man, sh- shout out everybody that performed. I definitely like a lot of those acts that I weren't familiar with during uh DJ headset. Like, I definitely like Shazammed and downloaded some music because some of, some of those artists were really dope, were really, mm-hmm. really dope. So started checking out some of their music so yeah man shout, shout out to everybody involved man it was, it was yes. great yeah and you notice how we talked for at least 25 minutes on this and didn't slander drake not one time not one time because at, at the end of the day yeah like the the diss tracks were performed clearly yeah. because, because clearly right mm-hmm. but at like as a whole i think this was really for the world to see west coast artists and how i guess how the city how different affiliations can come together and really like coexist coexist yeah and, e- and even um over the weekend they was out there shooting the not like us video mm-hmm. so i like i can't wait to see what that looked like because i know that's about to be something stupid like yeah really stupid so yeah man it was great it was yeah great. man I'm, I'm i'm excited for this man just to see what the video looks like um uh, i know um if you if you tap into any comment section or any you know uh Twitter thread, you will see that people are still arguing about who won the beef, and you know it's kind of tired. I, I, it's kind of tiring at this point, right? Because as a as I, I'll use myself as an example. I won't even use this beef as an example. Jay Z and Nas, we still debate these things to this day, right? Mm-hmm. Not about the beef, but whose career is better, or who yeah. has this, who has that, right? It's debatable. All of it's debatable. You know what I'm saying? But Nas won the beef. <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and try to have revisionist history 
Do I think Takeover is a better rap song than Ether? Yes. Yeah. But did it win? No, <laughs> it's, like, it's like we're not gonna keep doing this, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, the L is the L, right? Take the it. L, it's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Drake can rap really well on push ups and family matters. Those are the two we're gonna give him the credit for, right? Because yeah, yeah. hard part six, no. <laughs> and uh, I think the reason for this whole concert is the fact that you was talking spicy about. You know, on family matters, and not to mention that Tupac shit, because I ain't like it then, and I don't like it now. Yeah, ne I never, I never liked that AI shit at all. <laughs> I was not a fan. Yeah. So they cooked you off of that. Like they really got in your ass about. And then YG was like, "Hey man, like don't don't ever try to put me in the middle of this, man. I don't mm -hmm. know. I'm Compton, baby, Bopton, whatever you be saying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And them hard bottoms. What the fuck you talking about? Every time, every <laughs> time, every time with the hard bottoms is crazy. Yeah. The 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 interesting thing is, and throughout this whole exchange between Kendrick and Drake, everything mm -hmm. that Drake has said against Kendrick, he's literally like refuted it, like through through song, through concert, through, through, through whatever, action. just through pure action. action. Yes. And everything Drake has done, it seemed like a lie, or he's backpedaling, or he's trying to meme or caption his way out of this yeah. or use the fans that I've always said or his blanket mm -hmm. to shield him from what this, this real persecution is. No, he lost pop out. I'm telling you, come back as, as Aubrey Marley and you'll be just fine. <laughs> like, <laughs> But you can't come back rapping like you 21. That is not going to work. It's not. It's and not that's what's going to lead to your demise. I'm telling you. Come back and make some shit for this clip. For, I'm telling you, for these day parties, I'm telling you, it's that time. Make do that. you do you think he can do that like right now? Like let's just say in another couple weeks, he comes out with with a banger, a certified banger for the club for whoever. Yeah. And it, it hits. You think he can do that right now? As long as he's talking about women and having fun with women and, right. and partying with women, yes. But the minute he started talking about stick talk and talking y'all niggas is my son, like you can't you can't mm -hmm. talk spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is the other thing that I think people I don't know if we talked about it here, but it's like it's clear to see like where can where does Drake's friends come from now? You know what I'm saying? Because we like part of Drake's success, right, is the fact that he's made other people successful by giving them a hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Well, you know, rest in peace to take off, but Migos is no longer an option, right? True. Your your best collaborators are Ross and Future. I don't give a damn if you gave them your big, the biggest song they got. Don't Those are the it. ones you make the magic with. Okay, cool. It's, it's so you now. so you in line with 21? All respect to 21. I love 21, but mm -hmm. he ain't that though. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard of Drake and Future's like, oh, it's it's on the level of what Future and Ross can provide when y'all collab. Yeah. So if all these people ain't fucking with you and you the collab king, right? Mm -hmm. How long can you sustain this this individuality of your artistry? You know what I'm saying? Because for all the dolls was trash as an album, right? <laughs> album, yeah. Like, listen, we're we we we're, we're, we're saying Yeet, Sexy Red, Scissor, Tizo Touchdown, or the ones that's gonna save you as a career. Like, no, no, yeah, no. absolutely not. No, now mm. not scary hours for all the dolls. Those six tracks slap. Mm -hmm. But then again, you're satisfying the rap side of everything, and I appreciate that. The I work with those songs. We we've said for years that Drake does not have a purely rap album, and because because of because of this exchange with Kendrick, I don't even know if he'd be able to get that off now. I don't even think he can get that off now because what do you rap about? I mean, the same stuff that everybody else rap about. I guess I don't know. It's just if if they choose, if us as a consumer base choose to still fuck with it, that's it. Yeah. I mean, you can you can come out and do whatever you want to because we've allowed him to do it. Like that's the thing. We can't. It's hard to <laughs> get check this because, like, even when I even when I hear some of these Drake fans like, "Well, you ain't do this 15 years ago." I'm like, well, you know, shit. The machine was fucking with him. I'm gonna go get a song from him too. Shit. I don't like, I don't like the nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But listen, I have genuinely been a fan of both. And then listen, I'm like a pig and slop. I love mess. So listen, it could have been the it could have been anybody in this. And I was like, yes, fry him, cook him, cook him. Finish him. Yeah. 
Man, what? And the other thing too, right? People have came at Kendrick for playing "Not Like Us" five times at the concert. Like Drake didn't do this at over your fest against Meek. Man, what? Come on now. Like back to back with the memes. Like we was like, yeah. Like I know I was back then. Cook him, yeah, Meek. Like because Meek is a dweeb and he shouldn't have lost. Dweeb. I still, I still mm-hmm. think Meek is a better rapper than Drake. However, mm-hmm. the the it, it can never be the better rapper. Who's the better artist? Who's more popular? Who do the people like? Yeah, clearly Drake that, was on the other side of that. Yep, and that's that's usually that's usually how these things go. But this time, that's not going to say it can't save Drake. It cannot save Drake because all of the proof, everything that's happened, the songs, the concert, the the viral moments, everything has been in Kendrick's favor this entire time. The fact that Dave Free <laughs> was the executive producer, first of the concert, name, first name, right there. Whitney and the kids were sitting up up there, like you can see them. It posted. <laughs> <laughs> YG was there on stage, had a whole set. Up there, up, up there walking with uh with uh what's what's Westbrook. It's like you can't you can't use the G card against Kendrick when clearly all the G's fuck with him. Like clearly. I'm from I'm I'm from this. Like I'm really from here. And you tried to like play me against like my people. You thought he Drake really thought he had more pool in LA than Kendrick. Well, when you got dweebs like J.C. John Taylor, better known as the game, uh, jumping out the window defending you, and you're from Compton too, <laughs> I would maybe Drake has an inflated self, you know, inflated ver- you know, version of his ego. Like I'm, oh, I'm absolutely. weird. Absolutely, it's weird. And you know, Game is still one of my favorite rappers, but he does dweeb like <laughs> dweeb like stuff all the fucking time. It's true. Are you serious? It's true. It's true. Um, la- I guess my last question was: There mm. anybody not there that you were surprised wasn't there? Ot Genesis, where was Ot at? Walking, where was he at? Thank you, thank you. <laughs> like, I, really, I really thought he was gonna be out there doing one of the, one of the yeah, not like at, at least there. at least <laughs> between him and Russ, like they needed to walk off. Like I'm telling you, walk. <laughs> Like, that's right. Listen, listen. I mean, I think I, I think Snoop, even though Snoop was on, you know, tour or whatever, like I think he strategically said, you know, I don't want to listen, you know what I'm saying? I me and the young Drake, you know, me and the young bull got a few things working on. Like, I don't wanna I don't wanna ruffle no feathers. You know, cause Snoop a businessman. I ain't gonna hold you. Like he he, he lo- like I ain't gonna say this. He's I, I, Snoop doesn't strike strike me as like being disloyal to the West Coast and definitely all that because he puts on too much. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely think he strategically wasn't there. I think he wasn't more recent. Ah! But no, OT Genesis for sure. Like OT. Oh man, no, same, same. Yeah. Um, the, the only, the only other person that I was, I guess not, I guess concerned that they weren't there, but then mm-hmm. realized that they were also on tour. Vince Staples. Vince Staples is in Europe on tour, so yeah. I, I. I Seeing Tyler's like, oh no, Vince got to be here, right? But mm-hmm. found out later he was on tour over in Europe. Yeah. So, and he yeah, said, and he, and he actually has said that he kind of, I wouldn't say he used the word regret, but you know, yeah. yeah so yeah. at least we know he wanted to be there. I bet, say less, especially cool. with the, the new album. So yeah, oh, exactly, for sure, for sure. Uh, but let's try this on, people. I mean, speaking of like you know, big concerts and everything going on, streaming and things like that, we have Versus. Versus has made a big business deal with none other than uh ex twitter owner elon musk mm, mm, mm. shiny what do you have to say about the versus platform coming back with swiss timbo and elon musk <laughs> you see how the elon musk He's right right <laughs> <clears throat> we a lot of us have been asking where is versus is versus coming back who would be on the new versus yeah. um we finally got an answer we know mm-hmm. versus it's coming it's coming to x now um I don't know. I really don't know how to feel about this. I mean, mm-hmm. on one hand, a, a part of me feel like versus really ran its course, but a, another part of me is like, well, I mean, if they can really, they're clearly clearly going to have to do something different. But if they could bring it back, and you know, bring some type of glory to it again, I, I mean, shit, why not? Um, mm-hmm. But do I think X is the platform for it now? 
it would make sense because that's where people go to really talk about it when it's on, no matter what mm-hmm. platform is on, right? That mm-hmm. makes a lot of sense. But as a platform, like the whole live streaming aspect, right? When mm-hmm. I think about it, when I think about it streaming on Apple Music, you know, it's this big production, right? You got mm-hmm. sets and all this kind of stuff. Will that really work on, on X? I don't mm-hmm. know. I don't mm-hmm. know. Um. Do I think X has the capability? Oh yeah, all that. I mean, for all, sure. all all the technical capabilities. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. and I think this is actually a mutual thing because uh, when Versus is on, X is popping. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. So if you have something that's live live streamable, if that's a term or a phrase we're going to use, and you actually have it on the platform where niggas go talk about it, I think it's a win. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I think it's a win. Mm-hmm. Like. I'm over here tweeting and I'm watching it. Oh, it's love. Like, you know, between the streamers and like, you know, it's like, like it's levels to it. Right. Yeah. But X being a platform is only, is only a problem if you want to get into Elon Musk and his politics. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I guess it's a slippery slope as a black businessman. Do you want to deal with Elon Musk? But then again, Elon Musk is the face. And I'm pretty sure they do business dealings with race, racial, you know, racist niggas all the time. So so I don't know if I should put on my Martin Luther King hush puppies for this. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't I don't know if that's the the route I want to go. But then again, I can understand the 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 woke side of the argument. You know what I'm saying? You being in bed with somebody that, you know, I think you think he's South African too, right? Yeah, yeah, he like is. He, yeah. like so he he's probably been a part of apartheid fund like you know, funded some shit that's legally, you know, kept apartheid going or probably still has apartheid like views, you know what I'm saying? If he was raised in it. Right. So <clears throat> that that can probably shape how he views black people or even African Americans, you know, uh, you know, the people that he's gonna be dealing with in America. So I don't know, bro. Like it's I, like if that, that like I, like that's the the focus of the argument. But versus as an entity, I think that shit is over. It's been dead. It's good. <laughs> it's cooked. Because the first big matchup they could have had, which kept falling through, and now is never going to happen, is Diddy versus JD. Oh, because oh. <laughs> remember, oh, remember oh, that was remember, remember that was supposed to happen. Like, it was always happening in September. Last year, and it never happened. This was supposed to happen in Mercedes Benz. Like all, it was supposed to be Madison Square Garden, Mercedes Benz. It was somewhere. It was supposed to be somewhere, somewhere. but nah, it ain't happening now. Mm -mm. So, what versus plat? I mean, what versus artists are we gonna get? You know what Mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like because we literally start cooking with everybody that's possibly could have been done, unless you start mixing and matching certain people. And that's that's, that's, what I was gonna say. Yep, that's exactly what I was going to say. Either you do that, or you start uh, venturing out into other genres of music. And that's that's not what it's based off of, because we already started trying to put like JT versus Usher and shit like that. And he's you know because JT got a few little R and B bops in his po- in his back pocket, right. so we felt like he should come over and do some, or at least the internet start doing that. Mm-hmm. And no, 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 let's keep it here, right? You know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy man. So. I don't know, bro. It's um, it's a no for me, dog, on both of them. Yeah. Like, it's like it's pretty much it's a no for me, man. Well, I mean, as as a business move, I get it. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm not I'm really not mad at it. But like you said, versus as a as an entity for what it want for what it once was for the culture. Like, I think mm-hmm. I really do think it's run its course. And yeah. Being again, there, there's definitely a benefit to it coming back on X because again, that's where everybody talks about it when it's on, that's which it makes perfect sense, right? Yeah. But yeah. I think not, not that X doesn't have the capability because clearly it does. Like it's you mm-hmm. know technical giant and all that, but mm-hmm. I don't view X as something or a platform where I want to lo- watch live entertainment. That and mm-hmm. I think that that's my thing because I mm-hmm. think at one point they had Thursday night football on it. I'm not watching football no fucking X. Really? Like no, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. So well, I think everybody's getting into it now. If it's free, that's fine too. I don't care about none of that because you know all these other people I got pay. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. Because right. remember they they were trying to put verse behind that paywall. No sir. Right. No right. no 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 no. They learned no, no. quick. They learned no, 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 quick. No no no, no 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 no. We're not gonna be able to do that one. Right. <laughs> so I go straight to music. You ain't gotta do this, baby. <laughs> <laughs> But no, man, speaking of a versus, man, this is an interesting topic, man. Two um, goats 
of this this beautiful genre we've been talking about for the last few topics. We might as well keep it here. Yeah. Rock him and LL Cool J are both back outside with new singles. And you would think, you know, me and Johnny being both millennials, why would we care? You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, us being students of the of the game and you know, fans of the culture, it, it only feels right, especially when they drop two new singles. And honestly, in my opinion, they both work. But Johnny, um, uh, simple question. Whose album would you be more excited for, Rock Him or LL Cool J? That's a that's a really good question because we were just talking about LL a couple episodes ago uh, exactly. with, with his album announcement, right? Mm-hmm. Now, personally, I'm 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 a fan of both, obviously, mm-hmm. but I think I'm more of a fan of Rock Him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I would be more excited for a Rock Him album only because I know. I don't want to say Rakim is the more lyrical rapper, but I know he's going to have more lyrical records on the album mm-hmm. than LL Cool J. Mm-hmm. So that's why I would lean toward Rakim. But I would, but I'm kind of excited to listen to both because I mean we have like the people we grew up on, the artists we grew up on, or Elder Statesman now, mm-hmm. and a, a lot of them, most of them have put out albums recently. Mm-hmm. But the, but LL and Rakim are. A generation or two before them, right? So we haven't had a lot of though that those generation of artists putting out albums recently. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm very interested to see what exactly you know what they have to rap about. Do they still have the ability to put out high quality records, right? So that's yeah. that's really what I'm looking looking forward to. That's really what I'm looking forward to. Yeah, with uh, artists like LL and um, Rakim, I wasn't raised on either one of them, but I do recognize their place and understand their stature in the culture. Them being goats, them being true archetypes of what rappers are to you know in this current space, especially the ones that we we grew up on. Those are the ones that molded them, right? Yeah. So I would definitely pay attention and have a level of respect that I probably wouldn't for certain people, but you know, for Rakim and LL, I'll I'll listen. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's not the most exciting stuff, but I clicked on play for both of them. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, I still have them on my phone. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I still have like it was enough for me to hit save. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like shocking, <laughs> right? Yeah, shocking. like the rock the, I think the rock him um one was probably the most shocking. You know, mm-hmm. I won't be honest. I'll be honest. Uh it was good. B Ill is a really good record. For um, sure. It's like him, uh, corrupt and master. Ma- uh, master is it Ace? Master, Killer. master, master Killer. Killer. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, and it's kind of hard, so I just try to focus. And then that's the thing; it wasn't just him, but mm-hmm. I think he did a serviceable. He had a serviceable verse. The beat sound good. It sound. It didn't sound like, you know, it. He sound like Rock him in twenty twenty four. If that is, yep. and that's a good, like, and that's a good compliment too. It doesn't mm-hmm. sound like. Paid in full, it mm-hmm. sounds like rock him right now, right. and he sound comfortable. We sound good, like you know, just his breath control and all that, just with his verse. And then just switching lanes to LL, it was LL, Rick Ross, I forgot the name of the song, and uh, Fat Joe. Oh, uh, yep, Sat- Saturday Night Special, Sat- Saturday Night Special. Yep, um, LL sounded good on this, mm-hmm. but if I'll be honest, it sounds like a Rick Ross song, and maybe okay. that's probably why I, I like it. I it sounds, it sounds like. And maybe Rick Ross is like an EP or something on the song. You know, Ross be Ross can find a way to give a nigga a song, and it sound like him. But we go make it for you, like you know what I'm saying. Like Ross do that a lot, because <laughs> so, Ross gonna sound comfortable on his own. On, if he featured on your song, he's gonna sound comfortable. It's gonna sound like some shit. Like it's gonna sound like my shit. <laughs> so, but if but I, I I like what LL sound like. You know what I'm saying? He took some time off, and if he can give me like. A few joints like that, I might be more excited for the LL joint. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because you know my my ear is so commercial. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? You give me a cool, you give me a cool, you know, like a, a LL Rick Ross and Sizzle Bop. Oh, oh, we out here. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, that, that would be crazy. I was just saying. Be, listen, listen give me. Give me like, ah. Okay, so so that makes sense, right? Yeah. I don't know if Rakim could pull something off like that. Well, he doesn't have to. That's the other part. Okay. Like he he's doing an album now. LL, the thing, the difference between LL and Rakim, LL was the superstar, where yeah. Rakim was the hood superstar. Now, granted, you know, lyrically, we can probably debate who who's who, but I think more people would say Rakim is the wordsmith. 
because he was oh, never com- because he's not commercial. He never he never tried to make commercial stuff. And then the fact is, LL kept rapping past what we consider his prime too. So <laughs> that 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 kind of dilutes the product a little, baby. Like I'm saying, you start making, you know, pick it up for real. You know, I'll take you to paradise. <laughs> I mean, but, nice. it's very I, nice. I, I was just saying, you was you've been old freaky LL, old Uncle Freaky. Like you know, what I'm saying uh, nobody was like, I don't think nobody took that version of him serious. So <laughs> I was just saying, when he started wearing football, it was over, baby. Like, <laughs> Eddie girl, though. No, he was he was, was, nah, was, was freaky as hell. He, he was man, when, listen when LL. Start pouring like cherries and whipped cream and shit in his mouth. He was cooked. <laughs> he was, he was cooked. <laughs> yes, 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 nigga. Run for your life. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love a good callback, but see, I'm just saying, bro. Like, I think, but I mean, still, I, I think. Just off the lead single for both, I can't I can't put two bad bitches against each other. Just you know, using that term, but I'm gonna listen to both albums at some mm-hmm. point when they drop. For sure, for sure, man, that's crazy. <laughs> now I need I need both albums to be no more than ten songs. We do not need. I think I, I think have worth of music. Both of these albums gonna be littered with features, and I'm not gonna be too excited about that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna listen, but I ain't gonna be too excited. <laughs> Just off the first single tells me a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what I will say that um that beat on that Rakim record, mm-hmm. fire, fire, and it 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 suits his style of rapping so much. Mm-hmm. And if I could get a full album of that, oh, I'm I'm cool. Like I'm good. Like I that's. That's the type of that's the type of rap I really 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 love. So mm-hmm. I think that, again that's I think that's why I'm I'm leaning more toward being more excited for the Rakim project. But I mean again, when they both come out, absolutely going to listen to to both. Oh yeah, it's interesting interested to see, you know what they both sound like. So yeah, we'll see, man. We'll see. Man, let's try this out. This might be the last time. I'm not sure. We'll see yeah. how Johnny feels. <laughs> The most shocking uh, shit has happened this week. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> During the, the week of Juneteenth, one of the biggest white superstars in the world <laughs> <laughs> got arrested. So it's probably like reparations for all the shit he's been doing. Like, Man, look, but for real. Justin Timberlake <laughs> <laughs> was arrested on DUI charges. Johnny. Definitely shocking. Yep. Definitely shocking. Um, not the fact that he got arrested. Well, not the fact that he was driving while intoxicated, but the yep. fact that he got arrested for it. That's the, that's I, I think that, I think I think that's the biggest thing. That's the surprising part, right? Because <laughs> wasn't he like in the ha- like he was some he he was somewhere in the affluent uh neighborhood like. <laughs> <laughs> they yeah, finally, right. they finally caught him. The all them, it. all them nigger boss he been making over the years. They caught his ass. <laughs> they, they, listen, and I'm a fan. <laughs> they caught his ass. <laughs> Look, he came out the woods and became black again. Listen, listen. exactly. You want to be a nigger, nigger here now? You don't say you want to be, you want to be part of this. You don't say you really want this. Just say, I'll just say, man. <laughs> that's crazy. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, yeah. But, any old tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's, fresh out, it's of, fresh out of jail to the stage. That's crazy. That's crazy. He too pop now. Well, he, he too pop now. But you know, it's funny because like we have to think about it. Justin is what forty five, something like that. He's somewhere up there. He's it's a big. And I'm not. You know, I'm not the. I'm not the. You know, morale police. You know, I'm saying, hey, hey, that guy. But. I am kind of being that guy right now. Like, at your big age? Like, you know what I'm saying? With your money, your power, your access. Like, why do niggas still do this? Like, why do you drive under the influence when you are who you are? You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to, it's nothing to have a driver call a driving service. I know, I know you're too popular to, to call an Uber, but, like, there are ways for you to get to wherever you're trying to get to. Or if you're trying to go get something you can have somebody bring it to, like it again it i just looked it up justin Timberlake is 43 he's 43 years old why is it that you're going through these types of things at this age you're gonna drink uh, people drink fine cool but you shouldn't have the brain capacity to know 
first of all, not to drink and drive, period. But also, hey, I need th- I want this from wherever. Go go get this for me. Hell, fucking uh DoorDash. Like all it's it's shit out here. It's too much technology for you not to for for this to happen. Too much. It that it doesn't make sense. And the oh. other thing, and the other thing that doesn't make sense, Travis Scott. What are you doing, my guy? Now you're you're like 20, you know, let's say you're 17 years younger than you know. Justin Timberlake, you know, let's just say that. Yeah. But how? Why are you, you know, getting arrested for I think it was uh disorderly conduct, uh public intoxication, that type of thing? Yep. Disorderly <sighs> intoxication. You are who you are. You know what I'm saying? You're Travis Scott. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Why <laughs> are you doing these things to where you're getting arrested? And you have a bigger target on your bank because you're black. Not, not even. Listen, let's start. We ain't got to go there, right? We'll take the race out of this for a split second. Mm-hmm. Just off the strength of what happened with Astro World, oh, fam. you should never be caught in anything ever again. And he was never a troublesome rapper in the first place. Mm-hmm. It's just that his stage show provided a, 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 a crazy environment that wasn't safe for the patrons of those concerts. Right. So that's where it led to the Astro World controversy and those uh, the loss of those lives. But you know, and it's been some time since then because you back outside now. But I would definitely not let that you know let my guard down with those things at all, at mm-hmm. all. So I. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's bad, bad decision making in a moment. Don't know mm-hmm. what they both got going on. I, lo- I know a lot of people was seeing uh, Justin Timberlake's mugshot and you know thought maybe he was on some type of drug or something, like some type mm-hmm. of drugs or something. So I don't know if he's going through some. If the karma coming back to him, like I, I have no idea. Well, but I, between the Janet Jackson documentary and the Britney Spears mem- memoir with those. <laughs> Those <laughs> details about Justin, yeah, man. It, listen, everybody had a day, brother. Come on, <laughs> you know coming back. You know, you, I was just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy you're here now. You know what I'm saying? You understand what it's like. You understand what it's like over here, man. But what's the most shocking arrest between the two? You think? Uh, man, is, I, it, is it is it is it is it the white superstar or is the rap superstar that white people like? <laughs> because because like, you know, like you said because that's a perfect assessment but like you said about Trevor Scott like he never was a troublesome like, so it's, guy, it's, right? it's still shocking you know what I'm saying like shocking, but mm-hmm. on the other hand shit Justin Timberlake getting arrested period right like I, I just I don't I don't know in the, don't know. In the middle of an album run tour like you know what I'm saying it's all this like this is supposed to be his year you know what I'm saying like <laughs> Can I say it's equally shocking? Like for, for their own respective reasons? Yeah, I think it I think it is. Um the fact that Travis has never been in trouble with the law from what I know, uh right. yeah, it's pretty astonishing, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for a rap of his stature. Because usually when you get to that 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 tier, you don't you don't slap somebody, you don't have to go to jail, like it's something to nap it. You know what I'm saying? You just don't get to the it's a it's like a rite of passage, baby. Like you can't get to the top without you know beating right. a nigga up or something, you know what I'm saying? Is, is this his crossover hit? This is crossover. <laughs> Uh, right, I see, I see what you did there, but no, Justin Timberlake being the, the pop prince that he is, yeah, <laughs> like I, I think this is, yeah. <laughs> because why, because why are you doing that? Why are you driving? Why are you driving like that, bro? Like, come on. At this time, you know what I'm saying? I can see if this was like back in your NSYNC days, and you can start your little bad boy image. Now all the wigger stuff kind of made sense when you was doing the braids and shit, because you would have been like the bad boy. But now. Nah, you just linked it to it. We let it happen. See, man, I don't <laughs> see. It's our fault. It's our fault. I seen a I seen a video of him beatboxing. It was cringe worthy. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. We so, we, we we let that happen too. It's it's my fault because <laughs> at the end of the song pop, the end sync song, mm-hmm. he had he did he did a little beatbox at the end. Mm-hmm. I bought I bought the album. I thought that shit was fire. I'm not gonna lie. Well, well I mean, hey, we we were all victims of the hype train. It happens. It, it's happened. I seen it, him do. You know, you remember when they used to do the hydraulic move on the ground? Like they used to, you know, sit and bounce like this. That was the dance move. They did that. Justin had straight back corn rolls, and we cheered it on. We did. We did that blonde dance. Hurt. We did. I remember. I remember. <sighs> it. Oh, that's crazy. Crazy. How we how we get from. Talking about Kendrick to this, that's great. I, I know, right? We should have started off the show with the reparations. My bad. Well, we can end it with it. It's, it's still cool here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but clearly, you see, hey, we, we start joking too much. Now, clearly, we have reached the end of our docket, Johnny. 
what you got brother <clears throat> listen if you're on youtube we appreciate you for rocking with us this long please hit that like button hit mm -hmm. that subscribe button hit that notification bell Ding. and jump in the comments man let us know about any of the topics we discussed today we definitely want to hear y'all mm -hmm. how y'all felt about the kendrick show let us know yes, um, sir. And we'll catch y'all next week. Actually, yes. we'll catch everybody next week because ain't no song of the week. Ain't no song of the week this week. So, <laughs> hey, man, like we say at the end of every podcast, we appreciate you for rocking with us for this hour and some odd change for the things that me and Johnny like to talk about. Make sure you jump down in the comments, like you said, you know, pop out and show us what you think, you know, so, and all that great cool. stuff. But, hey, when you see this link, you see this video, you see this, you know, this podcast, just make sure you share it because OS is for the streets. And with that, that's episode 235. 235. And we out. Chill. Peace. You are now listening to Oversaturated, the podcast hosted by Johnny and Ralph. Now let's get it. <laughs>